college is the beginning of your journey as scholars. And the library is here to connect you to college-level research sources that you will use on this journey. Librarians are here to facilitate your research and to answer your questions about finding sources such as books, articles, and journals. These sources are created when scholars investigate a question in their field of interest by conducting studies, gathering information and data, and then publishing their findings. Libraries gather this information together in databases and in our book catalog. Then, you and other scholars conduct research in library databases, find books, journals, and articles, and read them to learn more about your field of study. Finding research is a complex process. It can take a lot of strategizing and revising, from the keywords you're using to the databases you are using to search. So why use the library? Well, at the college level, you are expected to use high quality sources. The library pays for these sources and it gathers them together for you to search through. Professors will often require specific types of sources for projects and research assignments. For example, they might require three scholarly or peer-reviewed articles and one book for an assignment. What does that actually look like? Well, books are broader and they provide a more in-depth exploration of a topic. They might be somewhere between 200 or 300 pages long, but actually you may only need to use uh, one chapter or one section for your project. Different types of books are encyclopedias, dictionaries, and something called a monograph, which is a single book written on a subject. Books are quality checked by editors before they are published. Because a book can take years to write, edit, and publish, they might be slightly less current. Librarians determine if a book will be useful for their students and then add it to the collection. Periodicals um, are a type of publication that gets its name because they have volumes that are published periodically throughout the year. For example, it could be published three times a year, or once a month, or once a week. A periodical is full of articles, which are somewhere between less than a page to about 30 pages long. And periodicals are usually more current than books, since articles take less time to write and publish. The two main types of periodical are popular and scholarly, and they target two very different audiences. Popular periodicals are written for anyone who's interested in the topic. These can be magazines, such as Rolling Stone, People, Country Living, uh, newspapers, so things like the New York Times and the Washington Post, and also something called a trade publication, which are industry specific, and they target an audience um, of people in a specific trade. For example, there's one called Computer Graphics World, so it would target people who work with computer graphics. On the other hand, um, scholarly journals, they go by several different names. So they can be scholarly journals, academic journals, scientific journals, and peer-reviewed journals. They are written for people who are scholars or experts um, doing research, and so they use professional language and often include data and findings. A third type of source is the internet. And we encourage you to use uh, library sources whenever possible, as these have been vetted and considered high quality and appropriate at the college level. However, there are definitely websites that are credible and helpful. In another video, we will talk about how to determine whether a website is trustworthy using a method called SIFT. Government, businesses, organizations, these all have websites that could be useful for finding specific types of information. I mentioned earlier that you use something called a library database to find these sources. So what is a library database? A library database is a platform used to search for information. The library purchases these to make them available to you to our faculty and students. Databases gather together journals, articles, ebooks, videos, 
and other sources that are helpful for college level research. Different databases will contain publications and sources that cover specific subject areas. So not every database is the same, and they often contain different publications depending on the subject area that they specialize in. Basically, a database contains a lot of periodical titles, ebooks, and other sources, so you can search them um, all at once and find sources for your research.